Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, we're gonna cover 50 real exam question answers for Microsoft Azure Fundamentals AZ900 exam. So before going to the question answers, we request you to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already a subscriber. And these question answers PDF is also available to download from shapingvixen.com website. The full link will be in the description. So let's jump on to the questions. Question number 201, you are running data experiments in sandboxes. The experiments are not part of production workloads and are not critical to business operations. Which Azure support plan should you use? And you have four options. Option one, premier. Option two, developer. Option three, standard. And option four, professional direct. So the right answer is option two, developer. The developer support plan is appropriate in this case because it is suited for trial and non-production environments. The premier support tier is suitable for enterprise level support needs, while standard and professional direct are suitable for production workloads and business critical dependencies. Question number 202. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. To use Azure Active Directory credentials to sign into a computer that runs Windows 10, the computer must be joined to Azure AD. Users in Azure Active Directory are grouped by using resource groups. And Azure Active Directory group supports dynamic membership roles. The right answers are the first statement is true. The second statement is false and the third statement is true. So Azure Active Directory, part of Microsoft Entra, is an enterprise identity service that provides single sign-on, multi-factor authentication and conditional access to guard against 99.9% .9 of cybersecurity attacks. Question number 203. Your company is running several important production Azure workloads. When an issue occurs, an Azure support team response is required within one hour. Which Azure support plan should you choose in order to meet this requirement? And you have four options. Option one, developer. Option two, standard. Option three, professional direct. And option four, premier. So the right answer is option two, standard. The standard support plan is best suited for production workloads environments and includes critical business impact case severity support response times within one hour. The developer support plan is best for trial and non-production environments. The professional direct support plan is best for business critical dependence. And the premier support plan provides enterprise level support for business seeking fuller support for Azure services across the enterprise not simply for production workloads. Question number 204. You plan to deploy several Azure virtual machines. You need to ensure that the services running on the virtual machines remain available if a single data center fails. What are two possible solutions? Each correct answer represents a complete solution. And you have four options. Option A. Deploy the virtual machines to two or more availability zones. Option B, deploy the virtual machines to two or more resource groups. Option C, deploy the virtual machines to a scale set. Option D, deploy the virtual machines to two or more regions. The right answer is option A, deploy the virtual machines to two or more availability zones. And option D, deploy the virtual machines to two or more regions. Azure is composed of a globally distributed data center infrastructure supporting thousands of online services and spanning more than 100 highly secure facilities worldwide. The infrastructure is designed to bring application closer to users around the world, preserving data residency and offering comprehensive compliance and resiliency option for customers. Azure has 58 regions worldwide and is available in 140 countries and regions. 
A region is a set of data centers that is interconnected via massive and resilient network. The network includes content distribution, load balancing, redundancy, and data link layer encryption by default for all Azure traffic within a region or traveling between regions. With more global regions than any other cloud provider, Azure gives you the flexibility to deploy applications where you need them. Question number 205. Dash Cloud model is hosted, managed and owned by the individual company using it, giving greater and more direct control of its data. Enterprises who wish to keep a tighter grasp of security control may adopt these architecture. As a result, the hardware is usually held on premises. And here are four options, private, public, hybrid, community. And the right answer is private. Private cloud allows for organization to manage and host their own cloud infrastructure while still adopting the same cloud characteristics as other cloud models. They also allow for greater control of security as the resources are typically ho housed on site, but these come comes at an additional capital expenditure cost compared to a public cloud model. Question number 206. You need to purchase a third party virtual security appliance that you will deploy to an Azure subscription. What should you use? And you have four options. Option A, Azure subscription. Option B, Azure security center. Option C, Azure marketplace. And option D, Microsoft store. The right answer is option C, Azure marketplace. So Azure Marketplace shop a comprehensive app marketplace with thousands of certified partners apps that can be tailored to your needs. Deploy seamlessly while simplifying billing and procurement. Question number 207. Which of the following contain links to resources explaining how Microsoft handles security, privacy, compliance and transparency and you have four options option one trust center option two service trust portal option three azure portal and option four the security center the right answer is option one trust center the trust center contains a collection of links to resources about how microsoft handles security privacy compliance and transparency Question number 208, match the serverless solutions to the correct characteristics. To answer, drag the appropriate serverless solution from the column on the left to its characteristics on the right. Each serverless solution may be used once, more than once, not at all. So the serverless solutions, we have Azure Functions, Azure Logic Apps. So the right answers are, for executive codes, we have Azure Functions. And is always stateful. We have Azure Logic Apps. For runs only in the cloud, we have Azure Logic Apps. So Azure Functions always you to implement, uh, sorry, allows you to implement your system's logic into readily available blocks of code called functions. Different functions can run anytime you need to respond to critical events. And Azure Logic Apps can have multiple stateful and stateless workflows. And Azure Logic App is a cloud-based platform for creating and running automated workflows that integrate your apps, data, services, and systems. Question number 209. An IT company is running a project that requires different departments to participate. The company is looking for an Azure solution that will allow employees to collaborate, share code and build and deploy apps. Which service should you recommend? And you have four options. Option 1, Azure Data Factory. Option 2, Azure Databricks. 
option 3 azure devops and option 4 azure hd insights the right answer is option 3 azure devops azure devops provides developer service for support teams to plan work collaborate on code de development and build the deploy applications Question number 210. Match the Azure governance feature to the correct description. Instruction to answer drag the appropriate feature from the column on the left to its description on the right. Each feature may be used once, more than once, and not at all. The features are Azure Blueprints, Azure Policy, Azure Resource Locks, and Azure Tags. So the right options are Azure Policy for Restrict which uh, uh, virtual machine types can be created in a subscription for azure tags identity identify azure resources that are associated with specific cost centers and for azure blueprints deploy a complete azure application environment including resources configuration and role assignments so azure blueprints Simplify large-scale Azure deployment by packaging key environments artifacts such as Azure Resource Manager templates, role-based access controls and policies in a single blue blueprint definition. Easily apply the blueprint to new subscriptions and environments and fine-tune control and management through versioning. Question number 211. A fingerprint is which form of proof for WFA within Azure Active Directory? And you have four options. Option one, knowledge factor. Option two, possession factor. Option three, inheritance factor. And option four, identity factor. So the right answer is option three, inheritance factor. So there are three types of factors used to authenticate a user request via multi-factor authentication. A knowledge factor, something the user knows. A position factor, something the user owns, such as email address and mobile phone. An inheritance factor, something that confirms identity via physical characteristics, such as fingerprint or other biometric. Question number 212. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. An availability zone in Azure has the physical separate locations and you have four options. So the right answer is within a single Azure region. So an availability zone is a physically separate zone within an Azure region. There are three availability zones per supported Azure region. Each availability zone has a distinct power source, network and cooling. By designing your solution to use replicated VMs in zones, you can protect your apps and data from the loss of a data center. Question number 213. Which Azure service or feature gives you access to advanced algorithm that process images and return information based on specific visual features? And we have four options. Option one, computer vision. Option two, custom vision. Option three, image moderator API. And option four, Blink image search API. So the right answer is option one, computer vision. So Azure computer vision is a service that gives you access to advanced algorithm that process images and return information based on the visual features you are interested in. Question number 214. Match the Azure services to the correct descriptions. Instruction to answer, drag the appropriate Azure service from the column on the left to its description on the right. Each service may be used once, more than once, and not at all. So the services are Azure Functions, Azure App Service, Azure Virtual Machines, and Azure Container Instances. So the right answers are 
Azure Virtual Machines providing operating system virtualization. Azure Container Instances provide portable environments for virtualized applications and Azure App Service for use to build, deploy and scale web apps. Azure Functions to provide a platform or serverless code. So Azure Container Instances is a managed service that allows you to run containers directly on the Microsoft Azure Public Cloud without requiring the use of virtual machines. Develop apps fast without managing virtual machines or having learned new tools. It's just your application in a container running in the cloud. So Azure App Service is a fully managed platform for building web applications. Applications run and scale with ease on both Windows and Linux based environments. So Azure Functions is a cloud-based serverless service that allows running even triggered code in a scalable way without providing or managing infrastructure. Question number 215, which of the following application security service provides centralized protection for your web application from common exploits and vulnerabilities? And you have four options. Option one, web application firewall. Option two, application security group. Option three, Azure firewall. And option four, Azure front door. So the right answer is option one, web application firewall. A web application firewall provides centralized protection of your web application from common exploits and vulnerabilities. Question number 216. To answer, select the appropriate option in the answer area. So you have several virtual machines in an Azure subscription. You create a new subscription and you have following options. So the right option is the virtual machines can be moved to a new subscription. So the virtual machines can be moved to a new subscription. You can move a VM and its associated resources to a different subscription by using the Azure portal. Question number 217, which of the following is an Azure serverless compute service that enables users to run even triggered code without having to provision or manage infrastructure? And you have four options. Option one, Azure Functions. Option two, Azure Logic Apps. Option three, Virtual Machines. Option four, Azure App Service. The right answer is option one, Azure Functions. Azure function is a serverless compute service that enables users to run even triggered code without having to provision or manage infrastructure. Because it is a trigger based service, it runs a script or piece of code in response to a variety of events. Question number 218. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. Azure Advisor provides recommendations on how to improve the security of an Azure Active Directory environment. Azure Advisor provides recommendations on how to reduce the cost of running Azure Virtual Machines. Azure Advisor provides recommendations on how to configure the network settings on Azure Virtual Machines. So the right answer is for the first statement is false. Azure Advisor provides you with a consistent consolidated view of recommendations for all your Azure resources. It integrates with Azure Security Center to bring you security recommendations. You can get security recommendations from the security tab on the advisor dashboard. Examples of recommendations include restricting access to virtual machines by configuring network security groups, enabling storage encryption, installing vulnerability assessment solutions. However, Azure Advisor does not provide recommendations on how to improve the security of an Azure AD environment. The second statement is true. Advisor helps you optimize and reduce your overall Azure spend by identifying ideal and underutilized resources. You can get cost recommendations from the cost tab on the advisor dashboard. Third statement is false. 
Azure Advisor does not provide recommendations on how to configure network settings on Azure Virtual Machines. Question number 219, which of the following can help a company compare the cost of on-premises data centers and Azure? And you have four options. Option one, Azure Advisor. Option two, Azure TCO Calculator. Option three, Azure Price Calculator. And option four, Azure Cost Management Tool. So the right answer is option two, Azure TCO Calculator. So Azure Total Cost of Ownership TCO calculator tool will help you estimate your current cost of for hosting your on-premises resources. Then it will display the cost saving over three to five year period when hosting the same resource in Azure. Question number 220. A team of developers at your company plans to deploy and then remove 50 virtual machines each week. All the virtual machines are configured by using Azure Resource Manager templates. You need to recommend which Azure service will minimize the administrative effort required to deploy and remove the virtual machines. What should you recommend? And we have four options. Option A, Azure Reserved Virtual Machine Instances. Option B, Azure Dev Test Labs. Option C, Azure Virtual Machine Scale Sets. And option D, Azure Virtual Desktop. So the right answer is option B, Azure Dev Test Labs. So Dev Test Labs creates labs consisting of pre-configured bases or Azure Resource Manager templates. By using Dev Test Labs, you can test the latest versions of your applications by doing the following tasks. Quickly provision Windows and Linux environments by using reusable templates and artifacts. Easily integrate your deployment pipeline with dev test labs to provision on-demand environments scale up your load testing by provisioning multiple test agents and create pre-provisioned environments for training and demos question number 221 which of the following azure security roles allow you to create a key vault and gain full access to and control over it and you have four options option one tenant option two vault owner option three vault consumer and option four security principal so the right answer is option two vault owner an azure user with the security role of vault owner can create a key vault and gain full access to and control over it the tenant is the organization that owns and manages a specific instant of Microsoft Cloud Services. It's most often used to refer to the set of Azure and Microsoft 365 services for an organization. Vault consumers can perform actions on the assets inside the key vault when the vault owner grants the consumer access. The available actions depend on the permissions granted. Security principle is a security identity that user created apps, services, and automation tools used to access specific Azure resources. Question number 222, you have an Azure environment. You need to create a new Azure virtual machine from a tablet that runs the Android operating system. What are three possible solutions? Each correct answer represents a complete solution. And you have five options. Option A, use Bash in Azure Cloud Shell. Option B, use PowerShell in Azure Cloud Shell. And option C, use the Power Apps Portal. Option D, use the Security and Compliance Admin Center. Option E, use the Azure Portal. So the right answer is option A and option B and E. So the Android tablet device will have a web browser, Chrome, that's enough to connect to the Azure portal. The Azure portal offers three ways to create a VM using the graphical portal, or using the Azure Cloud Shell using Bash, or using the Azure Cloud Shell using PowerShell. Question number 223. 
Which of the following Azure services protects your resources from denial of service attacks with always on monitoring and automatic network attack mitigation? And you have four options. Option one, Microsoft Defender for cloud. Option two, Azure DDoS protection. Option three, Azure Firewall. And option four, Azure Monitor. So the right answer is option two, Azure DDoS protection. So Azure DDoS protection enables you to protect your Azure resources from denial of service attacks with always on monitoring and automatic network attack mitigation. Question number 224, match the Azure services to the correct descriptions. Instruction to answer, drag the appropriate Azure service from the column on the left to its description on the right. Each service may be used once, more than once, not at all. So the Azure services, Azure Machine Learning, Azure Synapse Analytics, Azure IoT Hub, Azure Functions. So the right options are, Azure Synapse Analytics provides a cloud-based enterprise data warehouse. Azure Machine Learning uses past training to provide predictions that have high probability. Azure Functions provides serverless computing functionalities and Azure IoT Hub process data for millions of sensors. So Azure SQL Synapse Analytics is a cloud-based platform as a service offering from Microsoft it is a large scale distributed MPP relational database technology in the same class of competitors as Amazon, Redshift and Snowflake. Azure Machine Learning uses past training to provide predictions that have high probability. And Azure Function is a serverless compute service that lets you run even triggered code without having to explicitly provision or manage infrastructure. And you can use Azure IoT Hub to build IoT solutions with reliable and secure communication between millions of IoT devices and a cloud hosted solution backend. You can connect virtually any device to IoT Hub. Question number 225. When using an infrastructure as a service cloud deployment model in the Azure cloud, which components are implemented by Azure? rather than Azure customer. So choose three answers and the options are data center security, physical host hardware, software security and physical network hardware. So the right answer is option one, two and option four. So information infrastructure as a service quickly scales up and down with demand, letting an organization pay only for what it uses so infrastructure as a service helps an organization avoid the expense and complexity of buying and managing their own physical servers and other data center infrastructure. Each resource is offered as a separate service component and the organization only needs to rent a particular one for as long as they need it. A cloud computing service provider manages the infrastructure while the customer purchases, installs, configures and manage their own software operating system middleware and applications. Question number 226. What can you use to automatically send an alert if an administrator stops an Azure virtual machine? And you have four options. Option A, Azure Advisor. Option B, Azure Service Health. Option C, Azure Monitor and Option D, Azure Network Watcher. So the right answer is Option C, Azure Monitor. Alerts in Azure Monitor proactively notify you of interesting data and patterns in your monitoring data. There are no pre-configured alert rules for virtual machines, but you can create your own based on data collected by VM Insights. Question number 227. What service is used to create, update and delete resources in your Azure account? And you have four options. Option one, Azure Resource Manager. Option two, Azure Resource Mover. Option three, 
Azure API Management and Option 4 Azure Active Directory. So the right answer is option one, Azure Resource Manager. Azure Resource Manager is the de deployment and management service for Azure. It provides a management layer that enables you to create, update and delete resources in your Azure account. You use management features such as access control, locks and tags to secure and organize your resources after deployment. Azure Resource Mover is used to move multiple resources between Azure regions. The Azure Active Directory Enterprise Identity Service provides single sign-on and multiple factor authentication to help protect your users from 99.9% .9 of cybersecurity attack. Question number 228. For each of the following statements, select yes if the statement is true, otherwise select no. Azure Advisor can generate a list of Azure virtual machines that are protected by Azure Backup. If you implement the security recommendations provided by Azure Advisor, your company's secure score will decrease. To maintain Microsoft support, you must implement the security recommendations provided by Azure Advisor within a period of 30 days. So the right answers are all the statements are false. So Azure Advisor does not generate a list of virtual machines that are protected by Azure Backup. Azure Advisor does, however, generate a list of virtual that are not protected by Azure Backup. You can view a list of virtual machines that are protected by Azure Backup by viewing the protected items in the Azure Recovery Service Vault. If you implement the security recommendations, your company score will increase, not decrease. So there is no requirement to implement the security recommendations provided by Azure Advisor. The recommendations are just that recommendations. They are not requirements. Question number 229. A web development company requires a managed hosting environment so that its developers can upload their web application without provisioning or administrating the host servers and installing software patches which cloud deployment model would you recommend for them as they migrate to the azure cloud and you have four options option one infrastructure is a service option two platform is a service and option three software is a service and option four infrastructure as code the right answer is option to platform as a service so the platform as a service cloud service model is a managed hosting environment the cloud provider manages the virtual machines and networking resources and the cloud tenant deploys their applications into the managed hosting hosting environment for example azure app services provides a managed hosting environment where developers can upload their web application without having to worry about the physical hardware and software requirements. Question number 230. Your company plans to deploy an artificial intelligence solution in Azure. What should the company use to build, test and deploy predictive analytics solution? And you have four options. Option A, Azure Logic Apps. Option B, Azure Machine Learning Designer. Option C, Azure Batch, and Option D, Azure Cosmos DB. So the right answer is Option B, Azure Machine Learning Designer. So Azure Machine Learning Designer lets you visually connect data sets and modules on an interactive canvas to create machine learning models. Question number 231. What is the IoT application platform that reduces the burden and cost of developing, managing and maintaining enterprise grade IoT solutions? And you have four options. Option one, IoT Central. Option two, IoT Hub. And option three, Event Hub. And option four, Azure Sphere. So the right answer is option one, IoT Central. 
so the correct response is iot central because it is an iot application platform that reduces the burden and cost of developing managing and maintaining enterprise grade iot solutions iot hub is the managed hub for bi-directional communication between iot and devices event hub is a real-time fully managed data ingestion service azure sphere is a secured high level application platform with built-in communication and security features for internet connected devices question number 232 you have an azure web app you need to manage the settings of the web app from an iphone what are two azure management tools that you can use each correct answer represents a complete solution each correct selection is worth one point and you have five options option a azure cli option b the azure portal option c azure cloud shell option d windows powershell and option e azure storage explorer so the right answer is option b and option c so the azure portal is the web-based portal for managing azure being web-based you can use the azure portal on an iphone Azure Cloud Shell is a web-based command line for managing Azure. You access the Azure Cloud Shell from the Azure portal. Being web-based, you can use the Azure Cloud Shell on an iPhone. Question number 233. You need to view and update the Microsoft Defender for cloud permissions. To which role should you be assigned? And you have four options option one security reader option two security assessment contributor option three security admin and option four security operator so the right answer is option three security admin security admin views and updates permissions for microsoft defender for cloud same permissions as the security reader role and can also update the security policy and dismiss alert and recommendations Question number 234, your company plans to deploy several million sensors that will upload data to Azure. You need to identify which Azure resources must be created to support the planned solution. Which two Azure resources should you identify? Which correct answer represents part of the solution? And you have five options. Option A, Azure Data Lake. Option B, Azure Queue Storage. Option C, Azure File Storage. Option D, Azure IoT Hub and Option E, Azure Notification Hubs. So the right answer is Option A and Option D. So IoT Hub provides data for millions of sensors. IoT Hub is a managed service hosted in the cloud that acts as a central message hub for bi-directional communication between your IoT application and the device it manages you can use Azure IoT Hub to build IoT solutions with reliable and secure communication between millions of IoT devices and a cloud-hosted solution backend. You can connect virtually any device to IoT Hub. So there are two storage services IoT Hub can route messages to Azure Blob Storage and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2 accounts. So Azure Data Lake Storage accounts are hierarchical namespace enabled storage accounts built on top of blob storage both of these use blobs for their storage question number 235 to answer this question review the statement below and decide if the statement is correct as it is or if the underlined portion of the statement needs to be replaced with one of the choices below one common requirement to use Software as a service model service on a public cloud is installation on your host machine. So you have four options. Option one, the statement is correct. Option two, configuration of scaling and availability settings. Option three, internet access. And option four, configuration of your application code. So the right answer is option three, internet access. So software as a service allow for the delivery of an application that can be widely distributed and accessed an example of these would be google's email service gmail 
this email based application is fully managed and is accessed over the internet there are no requirements to install any software on your local device to be able to use it they are usually simple in their design focusing on the ease of use to appeal to the wider audience from a user perspective these offers the least amount of customizations to the application itself question number 236 you plan to deploy a website to azure the website will be accessed by users worldwide and will host large video files you need to recommend which azure feature must be used to provide the best video playback experience what should you recommend and you have four options option a an application gateway option b an azure express route circuit circuit option 3 a content delivery network and option d an azure traffic manager profile so the right answer is option c a cdn which is content delivery network so a content delivery network is a distributed network of servers that can eff efficiently deliver web content to users so a content delivery networks store cached content on edge servers in a point of presence locations that are close to the end users to minimize latency question number 237 you are an administrator and need to assign a role to a new employee the employee is responsible for managing the configuration of all virtual machines to which role should you assign them use the principle of least privilege and you have four options option 1 virtual machine contributor option 2 virtual machine user option 3 virtual machine administrator and option 4 classic virtual machine contributor so the right answer is option 1 virtual machine contributor so a virtual machine contributor can create and manage virtual machines manage disks and disk snapshots install and run the software reset the password of the root user of the virtual machine using vm extensions and manage local user accounts using vm extensions these role does not grant you management access to the virtual network or storage account the virtual machines are connected to this role does not allow you to assign roles in azure rbac question number 238 for each of the following statements select yes if the statement is true otherwise select no from azure service health an administrator can view the health of all the services in an azure environment from azure service health an administrator can create a rule to be alerted if an azure service fails from azure service health an administrator can prevent a service failure so the right answers are the first statement is true azure service health consists of three components azure status azure service health and azure resource health azure service health provides a personalized view of the health of the azure services and regions you are using the second statement is true the best way to use service health is to set up service health alerts to notify you via your preferred communication channels when service issues planned maintenance or other changes may affect the azure services and regions you use the third statement is false you can use resource health to view the health of a virtual machine however you cannot use resource health to prevent a service failure affecting the virtual machine azure service health provides information about the health of your individual cloud resources such as a specific virtual machine instance question number 239 a new employee is using azure key vault he is responsible for managing the key vault to which role should you assign him use the principle of least privilege and you have four options option 1 key vault contributor option 2 key vault administrator option 3 key vault reader and option 4 key vault certificates officer so the right answer is option 1 key vault contributor a key vault contributor allows you to manage key vaults question number 240 match the azure service to the 
correct definition. So to answer, drag the appropriate Azure services from the column on the left to its description on the right. Each service may be used once, more than once, and not at all. So Azure Advisor, Azure Cognitive Service, Azure Application Insights, and Azure DevOps. So let's see the right answers are. So Azure DevOps, an integrated solution for the deployment of code. Azure Advisor, a tool that provides guidance and recommendations to improve an Azure environment. Azure Cognitive Services, a simplified tool to build intelligent artificial intelligence applications. Azure Application Insights monitors web applications. So Azure DevOps is Microsoft primary software development and deployment platform. So DevOps influences the application life cycle throughout its plan, develop, deliver and operate phases. Advisor is a personalized cloud consultant that helps you follow best practices to optimize your Azure develop deployments. It analyzes your resources configuration and usage telemetry and then recommends solution that can help you improve the cost, effectiveness, performance, high availability and security of your Azure resources. And Azure Cognitive Services are APIs, SDKs and services available to help developers build intelligent applications without having direct AI or data science skills or knowledge. Azure Cognitive Services enable developers to easily add cognitive features into their applications. So Azure Application Insight detects and diagnoses anomalies in web apps. Question number 241. So when calculating Azure network data transfer rates, Remember that outbound transfer rates will vary slightly based on dash where the network resource is located. And you have four options. Option one, availability zone. Option two, data center. Option three, region. And option four, zone. So the right answer is option four, zone. So outbound data transfer rates vary slightly based on the zone. There are currently four zones, zone one through and DE zone 1. Question number 242. When an Azure service feature is in public preview, what does this mean? And you have four options. Option 1. The feature is being beta tested by Microsoft Azure employees only. Option 2. The feature is available to a limited number of Azure customers for beta testing. Option three, the feature is available only enterprise subscription Azure customers for beta testing. And option four, the feature is available for all Azure customers for beta testing. So the right answer is option four. The future is available for all Azure customers for beta testing. So there are two types of previews, public and private. The private preview is only available to certain Azure customers for evaluation purpose. The public preview is available to all Azure customers. Question number 243, match the Azure services to the correct description. So to answer, drag the appropriate Azure services from the column on the left to its description on the right. Each service may be used once, more than once, and not at all. So Azure HD Insights, Azure Data Lakes Analytics, Azure SQL Synapse Analytics, and Azure SQL Database. So the right answers are for Azure SQL Database, a managed relational cloud database service, Azure SQL Synapse Analytics, a cloud-based service that leverages massively parallel processing to quickly run complex queries across petabytes of data in a relational database. Azure Data Lake Analytics can run massively parallel data transformation and processing programs across petabytes of data. And Azure HD Insights, an open source framework for the distributed processing and analysis of big data sets in cluster. So SQL Server is a relational database service. Azure SQL Database is a managed SQL service database in Azure. The SQL Server is managed by Microsoft. You just have access to the database. 
and Azure SQL Synapse Analytics is a cloud-based platform as a service offering from Microsoft. And you can access big data jobs in seconds with Azure Data Lake Analytics and Azure HD Insights is a fully managed, full spectrum open source analytics service in the clouds for enterprises. Question number 244, the Azure cost management tool can help you answer which question and you have four options. Option one, how much would I save by migrating to the cloud? Option two, what will my Azure resource cost once I deploy it? Option three, which deployed Azure resources are underutilized? Option four, how have other developers addressed the deployment issues I have encountered? So the right answer is option three, which deployed Azure resources are underutilized. So the cost blade redirects you to the Azure cost management tool in the portal. This tool provides insights into how well your resources are being utilized and identify underutilized or unused resources. If you choose to follow the recommendations of the Azure advisor, you can remove unused resources and configure the remaining resources to more closely match the actual demand for them. Additionally, the Azure cost management tool provides the ability to perform a cost analysis, set up budgets to control costs and view cost alerts defined in your budget. Question number 245. You need to identify which blades in the Azure portal must be used to perform the following task. View security recommendations. Monitor the health of Azure services. Browse available virtual machine Im images. Which blade should you identify for each task? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. So the tasks are monitor the health of Azure resources services. Browse available virtual machine images and view security recommendations. And you have four options each. So let's see the right answers here. So monitor the health of Azure services, we have monitor and uh, Azure marketplace provides access and information on solutions and services available from Microsoft and their partners. So browse available virtual machine images, we have marketplace and for view security recommendations, we have advisor. Azure advisors provides you with the consistent consolidated view of recommendations for all your Azure resources. It integrates with Azure security center to bring you security recommendations. Question number 246, which of these Azure services is a scalable cloud native security information event management and security orchestration automated response solution delivering intelligent security analytics and threat intelligence across the enterprise? And we have four options. Option one, Azure Sentinel. Option two, Microsoft Defender for cloud. Option three, Azure Advisor and option four, Azure Monitor. So the right answer is option one, Azure Sentinel. So Azure Sentinel is a scalable cloud native security information event management and security orchestration automated response solution delivering intelligent security analytics and threat intelligence across the enterprise. Question number 247, you have an Azure environment you need to create a new Azure virtual machine from a tablet that runs the Android operating system solution. You use Bash in Azure Cloud Shell. Does this meet the goal? So the right answer is option A. Yes, it does meet the required goal. So with Azure Cloud Shell, you can create virtual machines using Bash or PowerShell. Azure Cloud Shell is an interactive, authenticated, browser accessible shell for managing Azure resources. It provides the flexibility of choosing the shell experience that best suits the way you work, either Bash or PowerShell. Question number 248. You are an administrator who must assign a role to a new employee. The employee needs to be able to have read-only access to all resources. To which role should you assign them? Use the principle of least privilege. And you have four options. Option one, user access administrator. 
option two contributor and option three reader and option four owner so the right answer is option three reader so the reader role allows the employee read only access to all resources Question number 249, you have an on-premises application that sends email notifications automatically based on a rule. You plan to migrate the application to Azure. You need to recommend the serverless computing solutions for the application. What should you include in the recommendation? And you have four options. Option A, a web app. Option B, a server image in Mar Azure Marketplace. Option C, a logic app. And option D, an API. App. So the right answer is option C, a logic app. So Azure logic apps is a cloud service that helps you schedule, automate and orchestrate tasks, business process and workflows when you need to integrate apps, data, system and services across enterprise or organizations. Logic app simplifies how you design and build scalable solutions for app integration data integration, system integration, enterprise application integration, and business-to-business -business communications, whether in the cloud, on-premises, or both. Question number 250. Which Azure service allow you to estimate the cost of resources you plan to deploy in the future? And you have four options. Option one, Azure Advisor. Option two, pricing calculator. Option three, Azure cost management. Option four, the premier tire support plan. So the right answer is option two, pricing calculator. So for the planning phase of an Azure deployment, Microsoft provides an excellent online tool to assist in estimating your Azure cost. This tool allows you to select and estimate the cost of deploying resources to Azure. Of course, to generate the best cost estimate, you will need to know exactly what resources you plan to deploy to Azure and their compute and storage requirements. For example, Azure virtual machines are available in a range of sizes based on the number of CPU cores and memory. Question 